Yo, what's up guys? In this simple After Effects tutorial, you will learn how to make all these amazing looking line animations. And as you can see, we have really different styles here like these dotted line animations, these tapered ones or the wavy ones or these ones that look kind of worn, maybe. And yeah, as I said, super simple, we don't need any plugins and it's actually super useful to know, yeah, to know how to make these ones for basically any kind of motion graphics or animation projects. So I'd say let's just go right into it. So I just made a new composition. And first of all, yeah, what is a line? Basically it's just one shape layer with a, yeah, a path. So let's just make a new shape layer and make sure to go yeah, up here and select the pen tool. And with this tool, we can just yeah, draw our path basically. So we can just yeah, click somewhere and just yeah, give it a, a nice path, just like this, for example. And yeah, that's it for our line. Now we have the path, and now it comes to the yeah, aesthetics, so we can just yeah, change or apply a few effects. So yeah, we get a nice looking line. So first of all, let's open up the stroke, and yeah, probably the most basic and important setting is the stroke width. So we can just yeah, increase or decrease it and this will determine the wideness of the yeah of the line so yeah really depends if you want to have a yeah small one or a really big one but yeah let's just go is somewhere in the middle just like this and yeah so now we can see this is just yeah a line it doesn't move at all it does nothing basically and yeah let's also learn real quick how to animate this and after that let's yeah give it a few really cool looking aesthetic effects but first of all we want to animate this so let's press this little add button and let's add a trim paths and yeah this one just allows us to animate this line so we can go to the beginning for the example and bring the end down to one to zero percent so the end is yeah fully to the back and we can just put in a keyframe and then go forward maybe to five seconds and bring the end to 100 percent and now we can see, yeah, it will just follow the, the path until it's finished, until the end is completed. And now if you don't want this line to yeah, just stay after this, we can also animate the beginning, so the start. So we can just go a little bit forward, so the line has some time to develop. And then we can put in a keyframe at start at 0% and then just go, yeah, not to the end, but uh, again, a bit more to the right and bring the start also to 100% so yeah the start will just follow the end and we get this super cool looking line animation and yeah now you let's use this line and duplicate it a few times and test a few really cool looking effects on this one so as you can see we have yeah different looks so first of all let's duplicate this a few times by pressing ctrl d and let's just put in yeah, five lines first of all and just hide a few. So we have our basic line basically, which is just like this. And let's first of all learn how to make these dotted one. So yeah, we just broken into a few parts basically. So for this one, we just have to press the plus on the dashes um, setting in the stroke setting. And yeah, if, if we do this, we can already see, yeah, it's yeah, cut into a lot of pieces. And yeah, this looks amazing. Of course, you can just play around with the yeah with the offset or whatever you like, or the yeah dash number. So if you put in a yeah little value, it will be yeah thousands or hundreds of these. And if we put in a really big value, yeah, it will get less and less. But yeah, this one is really cool. And yeah, that's it for the first one. Let's hide this one and let's yeah show up the yeah, uh, unused layer and yeah what can we do next maybe the this tapered one which has a yeah really big beginning and then just um, yeah gets smaller to the end and yeah this one is also super easy let's open up the shape and the stroke again and now let's open up the taper setting and if we change the yeah, end length to yeah zero or no actually let's start let's change the start length to yeah 100 percent we can see, yeah, the start will be really small. So yeah, the tail will be really small. And yeah, this is really cool. Maybe to see the effect more, 
for a better we can increase the stroke wideness just like this and if you don't like this yeah this cut off end here we can just change the line cap to round cap and yeah we have this yeah better looking yeah cap on this side and yeah the settings go for both sides so we can do the same with the with the ends so now this will be just thick in the middle basically just like this and yeah you basically have a lot of options in here you can just play around with these but yeah the result will be the smooth looking really cool line and yeah let's hide this one and yeah again just open up a default the default line that we made and now we can take a look at the yeah this one which kind of looks like a, a smoke line or like a little yeah just i don't know how to call it but it looks cool and has a lot of use cases and here we just have to add one single more useful effect which is the rough and edges effect and you can just find it under stylize and yeah as soon as you apply this you can see you already get this cool effect maybe for this example let's again bring up the stroke brightness so we can see it better just like this and let's again change the line cap to round cap so the yeah, ends will be round and yeah now as you can see this looks cool but let's change the border to a higher value something like 20 so the effect will be stronger and if we yeah, bring this even up higher at some time you can see the yeah we will even get spaces between or yeah not between the parts but as you can see we will get yeah yeah um, yeah it looks more cloudy basically if you turn this up and sometimes if you turn this up the yeah the edges will be a little bit blurry but we can increase the edge sharpness to counter that so maybe we can put something like three in here or we can also play around with the scale i think a higher scale looks cooler for 2d projects so maybe we can yeah let's put in 150 something like this or 200 and yeah this is super cool i think it looks even better if you animate the evolution so let's go to the beginning and put in a keyframe at evolution then go forward a bit and just also play with the anim evolution so now it will be a little bit more wobblier and more natural and more interesting and yeah i think this looks super cool and yeah let's hide this one and go to the next one and for this one i just made the one with the little wave effect in here and this again is just effect from the effects and presets tab so we can just look for wave and apply the wave warp and yeah we already can see the result we get these nice waves on the on the line and again i think yeah let's play around with the stroke wideness this time it should look better if we bring this down in my opinion to maybe 10 so we get a more finer line and of course we can change a lot of these settings in here so you have again a lot of playroom so yeah with this effect you can do a lot you can also change the wave type to square or whatever so you get yeah ah, please don't freeze out effects okay thank you so you get yeah a little more different look or triangle which yeah, will make this more sharp so you basically have just a, a lot of options in here and this one looks kind of funny but yeah let's delete this and let's yeah take a look at what else did we made in here okay so the other ones are basically just variations of the ones that we made so as you can see the the one up here is basically the same as the as the yeah this one the dotted one but just with yeah wider wider pieces and smaller gaps this one is just a really fat line so we just have yeah higher stroke wideness but i think these are basically the yeah the most the most basic effects or aesthetics for lines what else could be quite important maybe um how fast or how slow these are animated and let's take a really quick look at this one so yeah let's turn up the stroke whiteness again a bit for visibility purposes and now we can open up the, the trim paths and let's just play around a little bit with the with the keyframes in here so let's start with the end and let's click the graph editor and i hope you are a little bit familiar with this setting it will take some time to open up 
But yeah, in this you can just um, play around with the keyframes and how they move basically. So if we double click this one, we can just select all keyframes and press the easy E setting. And now, for example, we could just yeah, select the first keyframe and bring this up. And what this will do, it will just go really quick at the beginning and then slow down. So as you can see, we get this thing where the line will just yeah come really fast and then slow down. Maybe we can do this. So in the middle, it will stop a little bit. So for this example, it probably looks stupid, but yeah, as you can see, it sometimes may be important to be familiar with the graph editor, so you can determine the yeah the flow of the animation. So a lot of times you don't want this to be just yeah linear movement basically. So maybe you want this to start really fast and then slow down or whatever. And yeah, but let's bring this back to a straight line, so we can maybe test a few other things. Yeah, maybe we can just take a look at, at what different settings we have in here at the yeah the add thing. So sometimes there are a few yeah interesting things in here. Maybe the repeater setting. If we yeah select this, you can see we have a repeated object, and we can just open up the setting and change the transform to whatever we like. So we can just basically yeah play one with a few things maybe turn on the opacity for the copies or increase the copies and okay this this looks stupid i have to admit but with the repeater thing you can sometimes achieve some cool things so yeah maybe it looks okay so you can just uh, yeah repeat your lines without having to do it manually by repeating or duplicating the, the shape layer but yeah it looks a bit stupid for this example yeah sometimes yeah we also have the, the yeah, maybe the zigzag, so we will get a little zigzag effect. But I think for this, yeah, this looks super weird. For this one, the, the wave warp looked better, which we applied on the, yeah, the wave effect. But I think it's always fun to just, yeah, try out all of these settings. But I think I've, I've shown you most of the ones that are important. Yeah, this one looks super weird. So maybe you have some, some other ones that you uh, know, so you can just let me know in the comments or maybe I can make a part 2 of this this tutorial but I think all the lines that you have seen in here are basically the yeah most important ones that you may need in your motion graphic projects and I hope this helped you and yeah see you next